you have been asking about why zip ties on the paw. And if you look at the paw, the uh, rope bridge comes directly through the paw. It always does. Whether you have a stopper knot on this side of the paw or whether you have this rolling lock. The rolling lock I have, again, connected with uh, about three, how many zip ties? Four, three or four zip ties. All it does is keep the rolling lock oriented. It doesn't really have to hold anything. When I put my weight on here, this rolling lock just lays against the paw just like a stopper knot does. So if these zip ties come off, nothing really changes. Nothing happens. The only thing that would happen is if those zip ties break, and they haven't even budged, nothing's moved since I've had this connected. Uh, there's no signs of wear on the paw or anything else. But if those break, all that happens, well at that point nothing happens. But what it disables me from doing is being able to automatically with one hand pull my bridge and snug my bridge back up because that rolling lock is going gonna, is gonna to follow the, the bridge. What I'd have to do if I wanted to adjust it if the, the zip ties did break is use two hands and hold the rolling lock against the paw and tighten that up. So I'm going to suspend myself from the rope and then we'll cut those zip ties and see what happens. Okay, so there you can see where the rolling lock is connected with the zip ties. And I'm going to take this knife carefully without cutting my climbing line or cutting myself. And there's, there's one zip tie. Cut through one zip tie. So I had four zip ties. Here's another zip tie. Cut that off. Here's another zip tie. Cut that off. And here's the last zip tie. There's the zip ties all cut off and I haven't moved. Now, like I said, the only difference is now if I wanted to adjust my bridge and do it with one hand, it's going to be difficult to do because that doesn't follow, doesn't stay connected. So I'd, I have to have two hands to do that. That's the only difference. So there's the rolling lock disconnected. You can see I've had this on for some time. It's taken off some of the anodization. Point is, if I want to if I want to adjust my lanyard without those zip ties, I have to hold my other hand there and make that adjustment. But that's all those zip ties do. It doesn't support it doesn't support my weight. It just keeps it keeps that rolling lock in place. That'll still support all my weight. And if this rolling lock, it never break in that configuration, but if it ever did, I still have I still have my stopper knot on the bridge just like you'd normally have. And if this rolling lock came off, if that was no longer there, it would never break. But if it did break, that would just come through. And I'm right back to my Ashley stopper knot and my bridge.